Hey guys, what's up? It's Casey Shine with Remax, bringing you your monthly market update for March 2020. I decided to wear my Strength Within shirt because that is what we all need right now as we are losing our sanity stuck at home, trying to stay safe and healthy. But anyways, let's get straight into it. Let's start with Santa Clarita Valley. What are we seeing? There were 331 homes that sold in the month of March with a median sales price of $545,000. That is 40 grand higher than March of last year. So we're seeing an 8% increase in the median sales price. And these homes are selling really fast. Only 10 days on market compared to last year at 24 days. So two and a half times faster and for more money, which has been the normal uh, pattern for the last couple of years now. Um, so with that said, that's Santa Clarita Valley. What about San Fernando Valley? We saw 1,435 homes sell. Median sales price, $607,750 which is 11% higher compared to last year where the median sales price was $545,000. So if you look at that, last year's median sales price in San Fernando Valley is this year's median sales price in Santa Clarita Valley. So if you're looking for more affordable housing, you're always gonna find that in Santa Clarita Valley. Uh, median days on market in San Fernando Valley was 21 days compared to 24 day, 25 days, I'm sorry, uh, last year, so four days faster. Now, throughout all of California, compared to last month, there are 11.5% less homes that sold. But these numbers do not reflect the full impact of coronavirus because March home sales were negotiated or put in escrow in February. So we're really gonna see the full impact of the coronavirus through the April 2020 numbers. So that'll be interesting to look at. I did wanna say this, there has been a lot of misconception just based on conversations I've had in the last one one to two weeks here people saying i heard home prices are going to really start dropping or i heard that it's becoming more of a buyer's market don't get too excited because we're not seeing that whatsoever um there was a survey done by the national association of realtors 74 percent of agents said their sellers are not dropping their price to attract buyers because they don't need to for homes that just came on the market in the last couple weeks they're already seeing multiple offers and remember, prices start to drop when there's an oversupply of homes and not enough buyers to buy those homes. It's the complete opposite right now. We are at an undersupply of homes. There's less homes for sale today than there was one or two months ago. Now, I would hate to see people misinformed, waiting for something to happen that doesn't happen, and then prices continue rising and they get priced out of the market. So if you're thinking of buying, it's a fantastic time to buy right now because it is less competitive as the stay at home orders are still in place. Also, interest rates have come down in the last couple of weeks. So we are at still a historic low interest rate. It's about, we're at about a 50 plus year low right now. So it's a great time to buy. So if you're thinking of buying or selling, a lot is being done virtually, virtual showings, virtual open houses. So contact me if you wanna talk about your real estate goals. We don't want things to slow down because of the coronavirus, nor do they have to. So like and subscribe to the video. Click on the bell icon for notifications. I'm gonna be releasing a lot more videos in the upcoming month, more than, I'm, than I normally do, and you don't wanna miss any of those because the real estate market is changing very rapidly. So take care, stay safe, and I will see you guys at the next video. Bye-bye.